Hey y'all, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to stream your new FAO Schwartz drone. A lot of people uh, were giving these out as gifts. You might have seen them at Best Buy and Macy's, Bed Bath & Beyond. FAO Schwartz is trying to do a, um, a big comeback campaign from their bankruptcy a couple years ago and sort of rebranding themselves with uh, working with manufacturers like, um, like the ones that make these drones. All right, so this is the FAO Schwartz Coventry Streaming Drone. Uh, it's the British Bomber Drone, uh, and you can see here the camera is right in the nose. Um, there's no onboard um, storage, so the only way to record video would be right to your smartphone. Um, so hopefully you have um, either an Android device or an iOS device for you know an iPhone or an i. It would work on a uh, an iPod Touch or an iPad as well. Although an iPad would be a little bit bulky to uh, to hold while you're flying it, but um, but anyway, so it's um, there's nothing really clear in the directions to show you how to set that up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to how to get your streaming set up really fast. Okay, so if you have an Android device, um, you're going to download it from the Google Play Store. So just open up your Play Store. And then you're going to search for FAO Drone. And um, the app should come right up. And it's called FAO Drone. It's got this little black symbol with a gold um, you know, outline that looks like a drone. Just go ahead and download that. Hit Install. It just takes a few seconds to download. It's a really light application. So come over here. Let's see where it went. Okay, so it should plop it right on the end of your app list there. So go ahead and open that. And it'll ask you to allow FAO Drone to access your photos, media, and files. Just click Allow. You can do location. It doesn't really matter. I want it to record audio. Okay, from the iOS store, or sorry, the apps from the from the app store on iOS, um, you should just be able to do the same search. Just do FAO. Um, drone. Click search. All right, so it looks like exactly the same. So you would just hit get, um, and then it, it would essentially look the same as the Android version. So that's how you get it on uh, on the App Store and iOS if you're using iOS. Okay, it's going to boot right up there, and my reflection is right there in the phone. That's interesting. All right. So here's what you have. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and um, you got your switch right here. You're going to turn that on. And then you're going to take your remote and you're going to turn that on. And you're going to pump this up once and down. Oops, looks like I turned it off. Up and down. Okay, now that's engaged. All right, so now the next thing you're going to do, I'm not really sure where the settings are because I'm using my wife's phone. So settings, and you're going to go to connections, Wi-Fi, and then you should see something that says FAO drone. That means the Wi-Fi signal is broadcasting from your drone. So you're going to go ahead and click that, and that'll connect. Don't worry about the message that it's going to give you that it's about the internet quality. That's just a connection to, uh, to your, your drone. Um, so then we're going to go back to the FAO Drone app. And now that it's connected, we should just click Stream. And you can see now that the camera's on. You can adjust it a little bit. There we go. You can see when the drone is up looking around, it's doing a live stream. Uh, it's ready to fly. And when you're ready to record either pictures or video, you would just click the, the button that you want to do. So the camera is for the picture, and then this is video. So we can go ahead and start recording there. And then we'll just uh, we'll launch the drone, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so let's see what we've recorded. I'm going to click on videos. It's a bunch of chaos. Oh, it looks like it recorded. Just click that. All right, there it goes. 
All right, and then we're gonna watch the video back. Um, that's that's the gist of how you connect your uh, your Wi-Fi drone to uh, to your phone to record video. Um, once you're finished playing with it, you can go ahead and go back to your old Wi-Fi connection when you're done playing with it. But that's how you connect your Wi-Fi, and you'll be streaming video in no time. Have fun.